I feel like if I grew up in that environment, or if any of us did, it's so easy to become really hard and nasty and just quite power obsessed. And I don't feel, I feel like Dawn of the, of the Three Cleons has a lot more heart and like gentleness to him that uh, I've, I've tried to bring into my own life into my own life. Uh, you'll have to ask my friends if it's worked. <laughs> In my empire, there's a natural order. The foundation is a threat to me. We will destroy them all. If there's war, we shall win. Hmm. Cass, how's it going? Hey, Jim. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Doing well. In my mother's house, trying to pull this off, just press this. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Say hi to your mum from me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Will do. Um, you know what? I think you look and you feel ready for the part of uh, taking over the day. So uh, how close are we to that takeover that's here? That's very kind of you. Um, listen, I think, I think that's what audiences are going to enjoy figuring out this season, is this new dawn feels hot on the heels of day and is very keen to get on that middle throne um, mm -hmm. in a way that season one Dawn never was. He was always trying to operate in the shadows and try and um, be a bit more stealthy. But you're right, this Dawn feels, he's ready, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think you look ready. It's got that feel. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm curious, uh, would you, if you in real life, hypothetically came across um Don, would you hang out with him? Like, would, yeah. you think you guys would get along, or what would I think be the so. Situation? I mean, he's got much more serious problems than me. <laughs> he's got <laughs> a galaxy to rule. Um, yeah, I'd hang out with him. Um, he's really gentle and really kind and considerate. Uh, yeah. I think that's one of his defining qualities, particularly within the world of the Cleons. He's a really soft presence. And I like having those kind of people around me. So yeah, definitely. Okay, I like that. Okay, I could see you two hitting it off, you know, getting a pint or something maybe. Oh Can you imagine it with a pint? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to, well, you know, uh, get uh, Colvinder's character there and uh, it's, you know. That's true. Colvinder's character does love a drink or two. <laughs> exactly. We got a party. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been asking this question because I'm really curious about it. This is such a, when you come to work, what is the first thing you look forward to? Because, I mean, there's so many things. The costumes, the sad, the people there. Is there something that draws you in when you come to work uh, to work on this show that you kind of look forward to every day? Uh, I think just because of who I am, like it's always going to be people first. We're, we're, we're so blessed on this job. Like We travel the world with this cast and crew. We shoot in six countries, I think it is. Um, and wow. every day I turn up on set, that's the one consistent is that people are there really keen to do the best work and just to have a good time. Um, I think we've had such a good time on this show and I've learned so much and everyone seems to be learning as we go. And I think that's always when you make your best work, when you're living at the edge of yourself mm -hmm. and trying things out and seeing if things work. Um, so I'd say people first, although the sets and costume and production design and everything on this job is crazy, um, crazy, crazy cool. Anything in particular you learned that stuck with you or uh, of all the things, I'm sure, but is there any one I've single learned. thing that really? Um, I think it's got to go back to that kindness thing from Dawn that mm. I think he has an ability to find kindness and find softness in the hardest of circumstances. I feel like if I grew up in that environment or if any of us did, it's so easy to become really hard and nasty and just quite power obsessed and I don't feel, I feel like Dawn of the of the Three Cleons has a lot more heart and like gentleness to him that uh, I've, I've tried to bring into my own life, into my own life. Uh, you'll have to ask my friends if it's worked. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good lesson from Dawn. That's perfectly said. Uh, I got nothing at this point. That's a perfect way to wrap it up. So Great. I'm looking for, forward to the takeover, but until then, you know. <laughs> Uh, then, do yeah. your thing. <laughs> awesome. Nice meeting you, man. You too, my That's friend. Good. Take care. Bye.